Hello. Software engineering processes produce a drove of data related to coding, testing, operations, requirements, and more. This data can be leveraged to make software development smarter, reliable, and cost-effective. ING is a Dutch bank employing 45,000 people, of which 15,000 work in information technology. As a software-defined company, it relies on software to deliver its financial services. It is of interest to ING to understand how can they best use the trove of development data. More importantly, for which questions should answers be sought? Five years ago, Microsoft conducted a study to investigate just this. From surveys conducted among engineers, researchers distilled 145 questions for data scientists in software engineering. Fast forward to today, are these questions still relevant? Do they apply to ING? To figure this out, we decided to replicate the Microsoft study. We collected questions from 116 ING engineers, which we analyzed using the procedures from the Microsoft study. The resulting 171 questions were rated and then ranked by 128 different engineers. Some example questions include, what methods are most effective to prevent vulnerabilities? Are we building for reusability? How can we measure customer value of a software product? Our study corroborates the earlier findings from Microsoft with subtle differences relating to context and time. For example, we saw different questions relating to ING's approach to deployment, team organization, and customer involvement. Our study raises several points for discussion. Replications in industry are difficult. What can we do about it? How can software engineering research be relevant to software-defined companies beyond the tech sector? Which ethical concerns relate to the productivity-related questions brought up in both the studies? How can behavioral science help handle factors that are hard to measure, such as happiness, pleasure, team performance, or even customer value. We would love to hear your perspective. Thank you.